All right. I'm going to talk about relations and functions and how to write a function rule. The idea behind the function is that you're going to put something in and you're going to get something out. So this is a mathematical function where we're going to put a number into it, some math is going to happen to it, and a new number is going to come out of the function. And that's what we're going to try to build, but they're going to be word problems. All right? Let's give this a shot. Almost there. How about that? Focused. Sophia Zof already owns four necklaces. In addition, and additional necklaces are priced at one for a dollar. Write an equation that shows the relationship between the money spent on additional necklaces, D, so D is the money, and the total number of necklaces. So D is money and N is necklaces. So let's just think through this first. If she has zero dollars, how many necklaces will she have, right? So at zero dollars, she has four necklaces. What, what about one dollar? If she goes and spends one dollar, they're one for a dollar, at one dollar she'll have five necklaces. At two dollars she'll have six necklaces. At D dollars, what will she have? Well, she'll have D plus four necklaces. There it is. N equals D plus four. The number of necklaces equals the number of dollars plus four. What do you think of that table thing? You like that? Does that help explain it? Here's our next one. A person can pay six dollars for a membership to the art museum and then go to the museum for just one dollar per visit. Write an equation that shows the relationship between the number of visits, V is visits, and the total cost, C. Write your equation with C first. So this is going to be a C equals. Well, let's make a table here. If I don't go to the museum at all, I go zero visits, how much will it cost me? Six dollars because I already paid for the membership. One visit would be six plus another extra dollar, right? It's a dollar per visit, be seven. Two visits would be eight dollars. Three visits would be nine dollars. How much would V visits be? V visits would be zero visits would be this many dollars. I'm thinking of this. Yeah, visits would be it would be V plus six. Cost equals V plus six. Right, so this would be the cost would be V plus X. Sorry, I was I'm thinking about the one above it. So zero zero visits, one visit, two visits, three visits, V visits would cost V plus six dollars. Good. D dollars would cost how many necklace oh, got it. Okay. Just making sure. Gabe reads two books each month as part of his book club. Write an equation that shows the relationship between the month's M and the book's B, and it's going to be a B equal. So the number of books equals something with months. At zero months, he's read zero books. At one month, he's read two books. At two months, he's read four books. At M months, he's read two M books. Does that work? 
So at zero months, zero books. One month, two books. Two months, four books. It seems to work. That's it. Bye-bye.